Today I show you how to turn any best-selling design into a clean upload-ready POD graphic using Flux 2 Pro, the upgrade to the most underrated AI art model. So here we go, this is the official website from the developer. It's called Black Forest Labs and it's actually a German company. And at least in the POD space I haven't seen anyone making a video about Flux 2, so I felt the need to do it. So let's check out the website right here, see what's new. Yeah, so they just released Flux 2 last November. And let's check out the models right here. We click on compare models. So it's a bit like the iPhone. We got the Flux 2 Max model, which is the best model. It says maximum performance. Then we got the Flux 2 Pro model, which has a top performance at an affordable price. And then we got the Flux 2 Flex model, which consists of specialized models. And then we actually got a dev model. Let's see right here. Nope, actually not in this table. Yeah, it's right here on this page. Yeah, just like the Flux 1 dev model, you get a Flux 2 dev model. So there are actually four different variants of this Flux 2 model. And in the past, the Flux 1 Pro model was awesome for print-on-demand designs. So now I'm going to test the Flux 2 Pro model, as I think it's even better than the 1 model. Well, it has to be. Like, the newest iPhone is always the best iPhone. So let me show you a website where you can use the Flux 2 model absolutely free. Alright, so we are here in a platform that's called lmarina.ai. Now to use the Flux 2 image model, we just have to click on this icon right here. That says generate images, so let's click that. Now we use the image models and we click on the top left corner right here. Now it says battle, let's click that. Let's choose direct chat and then you can choose your image model that you want to use. Now we get this long list of the AIR generators, basically all the popular ones. Let's scroll up again. So you can see that we get all the Flux 2 models right here. We get Flux 2 Max, Flux 2 Flex. Flux 2 Pro and also Flux 2 Dev. So let's choose Flux 2 Pro. Now we're gonna need some designs. So to get some designs, we use Flying Research and we click on the bestsellers tab on the left and here we go. Now let's choose some designs. Let's first pick this cat right here. So we're just gonna download this on this icon and let's pick the next design. Let's pick a design with a bit more text. Yeah, let's pick this one. This one's in the niche football. And the phrase says, we almost always almost win. Let's download it right here. And let's pick another one. Yeah, let's pick this dead text one. Okay, so we got these designs now. Let's go back to LM Arena. Now it works quite similar to Nana Banana Pro. So all we have to do is upload the image. We do this on this plus icon. And then we want to change something. So I just wrote instead of a cat, it should be a chicken. And I added 4x5 format, dark gray background. Let me just press enter. And here we go, it's loading the image. And here we go, nice. Looks really, really nice. So let's compare it with the original image. So here we got the chicken and this is the original image. And the result is really, really great. I'm really impressed by that. It's basically the same style, but it's enhanced. So this graphic looks way cleaner and way sharper than the original one. Well, of course, the original graphic is a bit low resolution, but when you just take a look at the details, you can see that the lines and the graphic elements are way sharper, and it's got this more vector art style to it. It kept the same Chinese-Japanese letters, but now it looks more like a vector graphic. I'm really impressed. This is awesome. And this was actually the first try. So let's try the next design. Now we just gonna stay in the same chat, and we upload the next image. So now we got this football design. I hope it's football. If it's not, please correct me in the comments. And then I just prompted, instead of football, it should be tennis related. 4x5 format, dark gray background. Let's hit enter. Okay, we have to click this arrow. And here we go. Yeah, look at that. So let's compare the results. This is the original one. And this is our tennis design. It kept the same font, but it wrote the phrase in a new way. And now I see that there's actually a mistake. These two words shouldn't be there. And the tennis ball should actually be yellow. So let's change that. So now we prompt keep the words from the original design and make the colors yellow instead of orange. Okay, I think that didn't really work. So now we just upload it again and take the prompt. Then we add keep the words and instead of orange it should be yellow. So let's click this arrow and boom, here we go. So now we went from this design right here that's clearly football related to this design that's tennis related. And it's got the same style, but we changed the colors. Now let's try the next design. So the next design is this one. That tags making sure it's not poison. Now you can see it's a raccoon and now we want to change the animal. So first we have to upload the image. And then I just wrote instead of a raccoon, it should be Bigfoot. 
4x5 format, dark gray background. And here we go. Okay, that looks interesting. Let's check it out. Now I haven't really seen a Bigfoot that looks like this. So here we got the original one. And I must say this new design looks awesome. But for some reason the colors are a bit faded. I don't really know why that happened. But now when you just take a look at the snacks for example. You can see that Flux kept the exact same snacks. on basically on the exact same places. The ice cream looks exactly like the original one. And when you take a look at the fries. You can even see these two sticking out. Just like in the original image. So that's really impressive. And I just noticed even the scrunch effect is on the same place just like the original one. So yeah, you could say that it regenerated the image, but kept the exact same style. So now that we generated these images, we have to edit them. So first we have to remove the background from these images. And I love to use Pixel Cut AI for this task. So all we have to do is drag and drop our image right here. And it loads for a second and here we go. Now for this image it wasn't really that hard. So we can check the result on this color wheel. And yeah, it wasn't really that hard. Make sure you select the checkerboard again. And then you just click on download. And then we just do it for the other ones. So it's drag and drop again. And here we go. Now it's really hard to remove this crunch effect. But let's see it on a black background. Yeah, it looks quite nice. Now if you don't like this crunch effect, you could just remove it with flux. But it looks quite nice. Well, this design is obviously optimized for dark colors. So we choose the checkerboard again and we download it. And now we're just going to remove the background from the last design. And here we go. Yeah. Now I just remove the frame of the design. Let's check out the original one. Yeah, here we go. Now, of course, you could just regenerate the image without the border. Or you could just quickly grab the border before removing your background. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's zoom out a bit. And on Mac, you can do this really quickly. So we're just going to select the design inside of this frame so that we don't have any parts of the frame. And then we just crop it. Here we go. And save it. And then we just try again. And here we go. Yeah, that's way better. And in the mouse over, you can see that this design is in a 4x5 format. You can see it on this blue frame. And let's choose the color wheel. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I would use this design on dark colors, like black for example. So now we choose the checkerboard again and click download. And here we go. Now here's a quick tip for Mac users. You first click on this toolbar and then you click on this slider icon. It says color correction and then you click on this button. It should say something like correct automatically. We just click it and boom, here we go. Now this design is way brighter and I really prefer that. So now we're just gonna save this image and we are ready for the next step. So after removing the backgrounds, we have to upscale our images. You can do this with Topaz Gigapixel for example, but you can also do this with this free tool that's called Upscale. So now all we have to do is drag and drop our image into this window right here. There's our chicken, set it to digital art. And then you always have to keep an eye on this resolution right here. Now it's too low. We really want to get to the Amazon resolution which is 4,500 by 5,400 pixel. So we have to at least put the image scale to six times. And here we are, we got the bigger resolution. Now all we have to do is click upscale. And now you drink your coffee and it's done. Well, here it is. Let's zoom on the details. Yeah, it looks nice. It basically looks like a vector graphic. So then you do the same for the other images. And when you have a lot of images, I would use the batch upscale function right here on this slider. And then you can just select the folder and it will upscale all the images that are in this folder. So now we are ready for the next step. Now what I like to do is to bring this graphic to the exact Amazon Merge format. And not only the format but also the resolution that Amazon wants. So it's a bit small but I will read it out loud. So the format is 4500 pixel by 5400 pixel. We get the color format to RGB8 and the color profile to sRGB. Then we're just gonna create the artboard like that. Now for this task I'm using Affinity Designer, but you can also use Photoshop or Illustrator or any other online editor just like Photop for example. Now this is the exact Amazon Merge artboard. Now all we have to do is drag and drop our upscaled images into this artboard just like that. Now it's a bit bigger just as we want it. So we make it smaller and a bit bigger in this case. Then we center it. And then we just leave a bit of space at the top, at the left and the right. So the anchor point is always the top. And then we just export this image as a transparent PNG. Now the same for this design. Make it a bit smaller. 
send it and yeah here we go yeah, let's make this even a bit bigger just like that yeah that looks nice so the aspect ratio is basically the same as the amazon merge format that's quite impressive and then we just export it as a transparent png and here we go you also want to give your design a specific design id so for this example i just renamed this file ai underscore 0400 and let's check the design properties for this one let's click on this i yeah just as i expected so the image properties are basically perfect for amazon merge but the file size we got 13.4 megabytes which is of course under the limit of 25 megabytes of amazon merge but i would highly recommend to do the next step with this image and that is to compress the image so you can do this with this free app that's called cesium now here are my recommended settings for this app you set it to mode quality then you set the optimization level to three and do these two check marks right here now all you have to do is drag and drop your images into this field now let's just do this for this one right here and then all you have to do is click on compress and boom compression is finished so we saved about 11 percent that's not really that much but i think it's okay for now so if you want to save even more space you can set the optimization level even higher but it always depends on the type of design on how much space you can save now you just write your listings for these designs and you're ready to upload if you want to know a simple but effective method to write your listings then check out this video right here